<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Sailor Moon here, and today I'm going to review WWE Battleground. Battleground really started off with a kickoff show with Dolph Ziggler vs. Damian Sendow. Now, this was a really good match. <clears throat> I really enjoyed Dolph Ziggler and Damian Sendow. They worked very well together. Now I know a lot of people have said their piece and had their opinions on this match, but uh, sorry for that burp. Well, I actually thought that Dolph Ziggler and Damian Sandow did a good job in this match, and that they have good chemistry in the ring, and I enjoyed this match between those two. And Damian Sandow defeated Dolph Ziggler and got storylinely injured. So he could not cash in his money in the bank briefcase. Moving on to Battleground itself. Battleground itself star had Rob Van Dam versus Alberto Del Rio for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Um, really good match between Albert, between Rob Van Dam and Alberto Del Rio. It was a hardcore match. So, yeah. And I really did think this was really good. Now I know a lot of people are going to complain that this hardcore match wasn't like all the other hardcore matches in the past. Um, but I really was, I really did think this match was really good. I mean, Rob Van Dam and Alberto De Rio did a good job in this match. But at the end, Rob Van, at the end, Alberto De Rio defeated Rob Van Dam and retained the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Then it was our troop versus Curtis Axel for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Um, really good match between our troop and Curtis Axel. Uh, <coughs> sorry for clearing my throat. I know there's people who complained about this match, but regardless of their opinions, I felt that. R Truth and Curtis Axel did a good job in this match and I enjoyed it. Curtis Axel defeats R Truth and retains the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Then after that, it was Brie Bella versus AJ Lee for the WWE Divas Heavyweight Championship. And I know people complain, people say that no one cares about the Divas and they didn't do a good job, blah blah blah. Um but I really did think I really enjoyed um, Brie Bella and AJ Lee. They both worked very well together, and I really enjoyed this match too. AJ Lee defeats Brie Bella and retains the WWE Divas Heavyweight Championship. Then it was Great Call Lee, Santino Morella versus Jack Flagger and Antonio Asaro. Um, really good match, really good match, really good tag team between Great Colley and uh, Santino Morella and really well with Jack Flagger and Tony Osaro. I really enjoyed this tag team match and I felt both tag teams worked very well together. Um, at the end, Great Colley and Santino Morella defeated Jack Flagger and Tony Osaro. Um, then, after that, we had... <clears throat> Then we had Goldust and Cody Rhodes versing The Shield, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns with Dusty Rhodes with them. And the stipulation was if Goldust and Cody Rhodes beat The Shield, they got their jaws back and Dusty Rhodes got to keep his. Um, really good match, I mean, really good match. Both Goldust and Cody Rhodes worked very well together. And we all know that The Shield worked very well together too. I really enjoyed this match. It was a really good put on match. I know some people complain, but oh well. It was a good match, and Cody Rhodes and Goldust defeated The Shield, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose. Then after that, it was Kopi Keeston versus Bo Wa Bay Wyatt. And this was a really good match between Kopi Keeston and Bo, Wa and Bo Wyatt. I really felt they were very well together and I enjoyed this match and Bo Wyatt defeated Kopi Keeston. Then it was CM Punk versus Rideback. Really good match. 
I really enjoyed this match and I felt the CM Punk and Ryback worked very well together. Um, there was a lot of good things going on in this match. And CM Punk defeated Ryback. Then we had a power outage at the arena. And I know a lot of the fans complained about this. Um, basically. And at least it was nice to know that WWE did apologize for the power outage. You know, it was beyond their control. They apologized for it. I know some fans out there are going to are still complaining. They got their apology, but they ain't still unhappy. Um, but beyond that, <clears throat> then we had um, Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton for the vacated WWE Heavyweight Championship. Um, really good match between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. They worked very well together. And a lot of people were disappointed, but I wasn't disappointed. I felt it was a really good match. The match ended in a no contest. Because the Big Show nailed out two referees and also Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. Um, overall, Battleground was a really good pay-per-view. The kickoff match as well as all the matches themselves were really good. And I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed all the matches. Um, so yeah, that's about it for me. I'm Sailor Moon. I'm